Hello, this is Tofu from Trifro Productions with another Blender Quickie for Beginners. And in this Quickie for Beginners, I'm going to show you guys how you can model a hanger and blender using a Bezier curve, which is the easiest way to do it. We're not going to download the image of a hanger, we're just going to pretty much freestyle it and still have good results. Uh, I'm, blend I'm using Blender 2.82, we can use any version of Blender that you want or that you have access to. Uh, we're going to go into the top view, but before we do that, let me open up my keyboard shortcut uh, add-on. So you can see the keys that I'm using. Uh, press on that. We're going to let me kind of center this so you guys can see the keys that are appearing. Let's go into 7, top view. I'm going to delete this keyboard, or the, the cube, excuse me. Let's scroll up. Now I'm going to press shift in on our keyboard. I'm going to curve, click on Bezier. Now I'm going to rotate this so it's parallel or I guess that's the word, right, is that the right word? So it's in line with the y-axis. Let, let me just use that term in line with the y-axis. So press R on our keyboard and rotate this. So that the top of the tip of the Bezier curve is in line with the y-axis. And we're going to go into the edit mode by pressing tab on our keyboard. And you can see that the bezier curve has two handles, one at the top, one at the bottom, with uh, three points. And we're going to click on the top one and go to our move gizmo. Let's click on that. And we're going to drag this across. And we're going to press R to rotate it so we get a curve at the top of that. And pull it around some more. And click on the bottom one also. Left click on the Y axis and press R on your keyboard to rotate that around also. Let's get out of it so we can see how our curve looks without it, without having all these arrows on it. Press tab. We have somewhat of a, a hook at the top and we need to extend this hook down a little bit more. To do that we're going to go back to edit mode and press on our uh, first set of handles and press E to extrude the visor curve. And we're going to just drag that out see we have this uh, extra part or extrusion of the bezier curve. We're going to press R to rotate that around and we're going to try to just kind of adjust it so to speak. It's just a lot of back and forth with uh, bezier curves sometimes when you're wanting to model with it. You have to kind of click back and forth to see how you want it to look. Let's press tab so we have a handler but it's a little bit too long so we're going to kind of make it a little bit shorter click in the middle of that and let's drag this up somewhat click on the middle handle rotate it slightly press tab again we have that and that looks pretty good for the top of the part of a hanger that hooks over the rod in the closet let's kind of reposition our viewport here so we can see it a little bit better now we want to work on the bottom part here which would be the extended sides and the bottom of our hanger to do that, same process, I'm going to edit mode, click on the bottom handle and press E to extrude. And once you've pressed E, you can just, let me see, did that work? Sometimes with Blender you press a key, it doesn't register. I just pressed E but nothing seemed to happen. So let's press E again, extrude and pull this out. So now something happened which is good. I'm going to just pull this out all the way as far as we would like it to be. Reposition our window by clicking on this hand uh, gizmo and get out of edit mode so we can see how our hanger looks so far. And that doesn't look bad, it looks pretty good. And again, press tab again, go back into edit mode. We need to have somewhat of a curve here to represent the curve of our hanger. So once again, press E on our keyboard with that handle selected, press E on our keyboard and pull this out. And press R to rotate it. I'm going to drag it on the X axis and press R again because in order for us to have this kind of curved properly this handle is going to have to be pretty much level with that part of the grid straight across. So I'm just going to press R again and just eyeball it until it's somewhat at the same um, the same angle as the grid at the bottom. So let's press tab again. 
so you can see how this looks it doesn't look too bad it looks pretty good get back into edit mode and let's kind of curve it a little bit more by clicking on that end of our handle and pull this up okay then with that selected this bottom our most recent extrusion extrusion selected let's press E again on our keyboard and let's left click again to make sure we just uh, accept that extrusion we don't want it to press E then drag it out like we did with the others because we want this to go straight across so once that's been done and we've pressed our left mouse button it's going to know that hey yes you've uh, extruded this but you, we know we'll understand we I know that you want it to stay on this uh, level here on to be level with the grid and then once that's done we just press left click on our keyboard on the x-axis and drag it across let's drag it all the way across and let go of your left mouse button and then once you can get out of edit mode by pressing tab we can see that this the bottom part of our hangers level so you want it we want to, have to do the same thing with this curve on this end on this end also go back in edit mode by pressing tab and press E to extrude again and just kind of drag this up and then rotate it press R and keyboard and just turn this handle around and pull it up somewhat and we're going to press E again on our keyboard to extrude again press E and just drag this straight up and that's pretty much our hanger as you can see now you can do some adjustments to this uh, to make it more hanger like I guess maybe by extending the neck but this is just pretty much a uh, quick um, kind of a quick kind of deal when it comes to making a hanger from scratch and we've got you know our top part of our hanger and the sides and the bottom which is what we want the only thing is now it's just flats and in order to give this the um, fullness so to speak of a hanger what we're going to have to do is go into the into the object data properties which is this green kind of uh, badger curve looking um, icon here left click on that keep it in three keep all these parameters the same but just go into the geometry click on that and then click on let me see bevel go to bevel and then left click one time and that's going to thicken up our hanger you can click on it more than once if you want but I think point one is pretty good and we're going to click on fill caps because that's going to actually fill in the ends of our curve here because without that being clicked these would be pretty much open open geometry let's click on it let's click on our depth one more time give it more depth so you can see a little bit better see the thickness of our of our hanger there now once you're satisfied with the way your hanger looks and you've given it the thickness by going to the bevel uh, tab and increasing the depth and closing up the caps if you feel that this is what you want your hanger to look like you can now turn it into a mesh right now it's just a bezier your curve you really can't do much with it in terms of modeling it so to speak in uh, mesh mode so in order to turn this from a curve into a mesh click on object go to convert to curve from mesh click on that and now let me see that click on the right thing object convert to is it mesh from curve sometimes this is kind of tricky let's click on mesh from curve okay it's mesh from curve to turn this from a curve into a mesh then we go to edit mode by pressing tab we can see that now this is an actual this is actual geometry and it does look a little bit uh, I guess not as smooth as you, as you would like it to be in order to fix that just go into the modifier tab click on this little wrench here add modifier and subdivision surface and that smooths it out makes it smooth and that's how you can make a hanger from scratch and blender by using the bezier curve 
and turn it from a curve into a mesh after you've modeled it in curve mode. And that's today's Blender Quickie for Beginners, just an introduction to using the Bezier Curve in Blender to make a hanger. And this technique, can, you can apply it to tons of other objects like making a vase or making cups. The Bezier Curve is kind of underrated when it comes to modeling, but it, you can do a lot of stuff with it, which we'll do later on as we continue to, to delve dwell into Blender. And uh, once again, I thank you guys who have been watching the videos and those of you who have, who have subscribed in the past and those of you who are subscribing now and those of you who subscribe in the future. Really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Adios.